So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the clothing I couldn't have lived without this year. These are the pieces that I've got the most use out of, and I don't know what I would have done without them. Just for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 30 to 31 inch waist, depending on the trousers. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the pieces. So the first item I couldn't have done 2023 without is my Acne Studios 1996 jeans. Well, technically I could have done 2023 without them, but it would have made dressing a lot harder. Anyway, these jeans are pretty much perfect in my opinion. They're not too slim, they're not too baggy, they're just right. They've got a classic regular fit, so they'll never look out of place no matter what the trends are doing. And they go with pretty much everything. At the moment, I'm wearing these about five days a week, maybe Maybe even all seven some weeks and I don't care that people keep seeing me in them I absolutely love them and when it comes to sizing these do fit true to size in my opinion and I picked up my pair in a size 31 32 they are expensive but they're hundred percent worth the price in my opinion and I've definitely got my money's worth out of the pair that I've already got anyway if you haven't tried these out yet then I'd highly recommend giving them a go and see what you think next up we've got the Adidas gazelle indoor everyone probably knows about these shoes by now they're extremely popular and they sell out almost instantly whenever they restock. Saying that though, I haven't actually seen that many pairs of these out in the wild, but maybe it's people from London buying these all up. Those trendy London types love an Adidas sneaker, so it wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, these have been a great shoe for me this year, and I've worn them a lot. And even though they're quite loud and in your face, I do find them easy to style. I find they go with pretty much everything. It does help that I wear a lot of black and a lot of neutral colours, so they don't tend to clash with much of the things I wear, but I do find them a lot more versatile than they might first appear. And the other great thing about the colour of these is you can wear them all year round. Of course, you can wear what you want when you want, but white sneakers for me have always looked a little bit out of place in the colder weather, but you won't have that problem with these. When it comes to sizing, I would say these run true to size. They do for me anyway, and they are reasonably comfortable. Remember, they are a slim sneaker at the end of the day, so don't expect to be walking on clouds in these, but they are really comfortable for what they are. And for those of you worrying, these haven't taken my top spot of my favorite sneaker of all time that still goes to the converse chuck 70 but 2023 has been the year of the gazelle for me next up we've got my our legacy belt and i've worn it pretty much every day since i got it now it did take me a really long time to buy this belt because it was so expensive and a lot more than i'd ever spent on a belt but i'm so glad i picked it up i've definitely got my money's worth already with the amount of times that i've worn it but i hope i get to wear it for many years to come I just love the subtle detail it adds to any of my outfits and it has become a big part of my outfits. And when it comes to sizing, I picked this up in a size 90 and it is too big for me, but I didn't have time to send it back, but let me explain. Basically, I ordered this belt in for an outfit that I was wearing to a friend's wedding and by the time it came, I didn't have time to return it for a smaller size, so I kept this one. I ended up having to make some holes in it myself and I did a good job, it looks very neat and tidy, but if I was going back in time, I would have ordered the size 80. Now this belt is designed to hang down. It's got a metal weighted tip on it, but it probably hangs down a bit more on my version than the 80 would. But I'm fine with that. I quite like that. Some people have said it looks a little bit sloppy hanging down like that, but I don't want to be too clean cut with my fits all the time. So I welcome a bit of slot from time to time. The next item might not be a surprise to many of you, but it's my Izzy Miyake pleats. Now in the spring and the summer, I wore these to death. These just pair so well with my common projects achilles low and i wore that shoe a lot in the spring and the summer so i wore these a lot too to be honest i probably wore my common projects achilles low as much as my adidas gazelles so i do think they deserve a shout out too so shout out to the common projects achilles low i guess <laughs> anyway these trousers are great and even though they're really expensive they are worth the money for me i've had this pair for almost two years now and they still look almost the same as the day i bought them they've held up really well and i've worn them a lot and for size I picked these up in a size 3, but all models fit slightly differently. So even though I'm a size 3 in this pair, I might not be a size 3 in all pairs. The only downside for me with these is they do have a tapered fit. Sometimes the tapered fit works great with some fits, and sometimes not so much. But because I love these trousers so much, I have been thinking about picking up a second pair recently with more of a straight cut. Straight cut pants are a lot more versatile. They're a lot more easy to style. So a second pair might not be a bad idea to have in my wardrobe. And with sale season in full swing,
selling at the moment, it might not be a bad time for me to pick up another pair. The next item is my Ami cardigan. I wear this cardigan when I'm cold around the house, when I go out to dinner, when I go to town as a layering piece, and when I record videos. I'm wearing it right now. I wear it a lot. I don't know what it is about cardigans, but they just do it for me. And when I find one that fits me really well, like this one, I'm gonna wear it a lot. When it comes to sizing, I do find Ami runs quite small with their tops a lot of the time, and I did have to size up in this, so this is a size large, and it fits me perfectly. It's got a relaxed fit, but it's not oversized, and it's got a bit of a shorter length, which I absolutely love. Although I like the slightly cropped look with my tops, some of the crops out there are a little bit too extreme for me, but not this piece. This is absolutely perfect. And in my opinion, Ami are one of the best brands out there when it comes to quality and fit, and I don't think I've ever had a bad piece from them. And I do get asked where to find this cardigan these days. There's a lot of them with the big heart on them, or the merino wool version of this one, but this is the thick knit one with the smaller heart, and it is quite hard to find. The only place I've seen it at recently is at End Clothing, and at the time of recording this, they do have a sale on, and I think this might be included in that sale. So I'll leave a link to it down in the description box if you're interested. Next up, we've got my Uniqlo jacket. Now, I actually got this jacket through some work I did with Uniqlo over on Instagram, and I'm so glad I was able to get hold of this piece. But I won't spend too long talking about this jacket because I've already banged on about it a lot on the channel. So I'm gonna make this one quick. But basically, I got it in a size medium. It fits me perfectly. It's got a nice shorter length and a boxy fit, and you can easily layer underneath it. The only downside, it's not that warm, so it's not going to be great in the winter. But uh, yeah, for the rest of the year, it's going to be perfect. Next up is the Arquette Heavyweight T-shirt. So this T-shirt has been my most worn T-shirt this year by a long mile. I've worn these on their own. I've worn them tucked in, untucked as a layering piece. They're so easy to wear. I find a lot of heavyweight T-shirts are quite stiff and quite rough and they're difficult to wear tucked in, but that's not the case with this one. It's really soft. I wear these in a size medium. They've got a lovely relaxed fit without being oversized, and they've got the perfect length. And after I got the first one of these, I knew I had to pick up some more because I was washing it all the time and I wanted to wear it all the time. So I decided to pick up three more. I got them all in black because I love to wear black and they've all been through the wash a lot of times and they've held up really well for me. Is it the perfect t-shirt? No, but does the perfect t-shirt even exist? If it does, do let me know what it is in the comments because I haven't found it yet. But I had to have these on the list. I've worn them a ridiculous amount They've been so useful to have in my wardrobe. And yeah, I still love them. Oh, and I forgot to mention my Veyron boots. As soon as the temperature dropped, they were glued to my feet. Well, not literally. I've taken them off to go to bed and to shower, so don't worry. But what I'm trying to say is I've worn them a lot. Anyway, I've spoken about these a lot on the channel already, and I have done a boot video recently with these in. So if you want to see more about them, then feel free to check that out. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do drop it a like if you did. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you later.